Right then guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Golf Magic YouTube channel. Now today you join me at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate on the Kingfisher course for a very interesting video. Now, here on the Golf Magic YouTube channel, we review a lot of equipment, golf balls, golf clubs, and today I've got a golf ball. The reason why I'm reviewing this is because of its design. This is the Srixen Q-Star Tour Golf Ball in Divide, and the Divide is because it's two different colours, so traditionalists, look away now because there is no white on this golf ball. It comes in three different colour options, so it's got yellow and orange, red and orange, and blue and orange. And it's a three-piece golf ball, the Strixon Q-Star Tour is not a new golf ball, but this design certainly is, and Strixon say it should really help for putting and short game. So we're going to put it to the test. We're going to take it round the Manning's Heath Golf Course on the Kingfisher Course. I'm really going to focus on the short game, so some chips and some putting, and just see how off-putting it is for, let's say, the long shots, because I think this could really split opinions for certain parts of the game. You have seen the design before in some old pin golf balls about two or three decades ago, and they didn't do too well. But I'm thinking this could really help a lot of amateurs' games. So, let's take it around the course right now and see how I get on. Let's do it. So the Srixen Q-Star Tour Divide was a very interesting test. I used the red and yellow and orange and yellow golf ball. And the first thing I will say is I instantly put the red and yellow golf ball back in my golf bag. I was not a fan at all of the red colouring on half of the golf ball. It was a bit too dark for me and then it was a, just a bit too contrasting between the yellow and red. So I went to the orange and yellow and for me it felt a lot better. I played nine holes with this golf ball and let's go on to the positives first. The urethrain cover was actually very easy to get used to and that also meant that the golf ball was very, very durable. I could think this golf ball would easily last three or four rounds of golf before you probably notice some significant damage. I played nine holes, absolutely not a scratch on it at all, which was very impressive. Four around the green, so a little chip shots from about 30 yards in. This was very helpful. I know you're not actually allowed to align the golf ball when you're on the fairway or in the rough, and I didn't do that. But either way, seeing the golf ball come out, you can notice the spin that the golf ball's getting, and it was just a little bit more pleasing than a white golf ball. This was only from chip shots. Pitch shots were a different story, but I'll get onto that in a little bit. The putting, which I would say Strixon is aiming for with this golf ball, yes, a great improvement here. I was a really big fan of this. There was a very distinctive alignment aid, obviously, with the golf ball being two different colours, and it helped. It really did help. My one worry with this is that I was playing on a nice summer's day, and that was great. If I was playing this in winter or on a bit of a groggy day, it would maybe be a little bit different. But for me, I did feel like the alignment aid here, very helpful. But going on to the negatives, although I said the alignment aid is very helpful, would I rather use a white golf ball for putting? To be honest, yeah, I would. I would rather use, let's say, a Callaway Chrome Soft with the triple track technology, which still has a very notable alignment aid, rather than having this golf ball with very outside the box colours. There's no faulting the actual feel of the golf ball. The Crixton Q Star is a very positive golf ball, but the design of it, for me, when I'm comparing it to a traditionalist golf ball, I can't see why anyone would change to a golf ball like this when you do have alignment aids already in other golf balls. Because this alignment aid is so significant, it being two different colours, when you're on the fairway, when you're on the tee, it is somewhat off-putting because if you're in the fairway or you're in the rough from about 150 yards, you can't line it up. So it does look a little bit strange and I did get along with the golf ball, but mentally I didn't feel 100% for certain shots, especially when I was in the rough. This makes me think, who is this target market for this golf ball? Is this a gimmick or is it something that can really help? Because for me, I would happily use this in rounds when you're playing casually with your mates. But if I'm playing a round of golf, either an amateur tournament or an actual tournament whereby I'm lowering my handicap, I would be a bit wary of putting this ball in play just because it looks a bit strange. You're never looking out for a golf ball that's not white, so it would take you a while to adjust. And it does seem a bit gimmicky. So for £35 a dozen, I would actually lean towards the Strix and Q-Star without the divide feature than this golf ball itself. This is just a golf magic recommendation. I'm sure a lot of people have tried this golf ball or will try this golf ball out and will think it's very good. I do think it's a bit more of a casual golf ball than a tournament golf ball, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this golf ball and if you're going to try it out anytime soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, leave a like down below. And if you guys are new to the Golf Magic YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button as well to keep up to date with all our videos from the wacky golf ball reviews to all the golf equipment, you name it, we've got it to keep you guys entertained for all of 2021. I'll see you guys at the next video.